Hey, what's going on everyone, and welcome to episode 11. So this time there won't be any intro, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the clips. So I started off where I left off last time, and I got myself to 85 woodcutting off teaks. Uh, and then I decided to move into killing some more green dragons, so I could get myself to 75 prayer. Uh, once again, guys, I just bring some dehyde salmon in the super set. I don't bring really anything that big. Uh, I ended up running out of super strength pots too, so I decided to just bring a dragon battle axe, because it's a lot better than farming limpwort roots or going to cockatrices and getting them, because you guys know they are a pain in the ass to get. Uh, in this first clip, I actually do what I talked about in the last video when training prayer, you know, to get a little bit faster XP. Uh, using one bone manually on the altar after it automatically uses one, so hopefully after you guys see this, it's a lot easier to understand what I was talking about last video. Uh, so from doing prayer and getting to 75, I actually did get myself to 123 combat. So hopefully by the time I get 80, I should be somewhere around 124. After 75 prayer, I decided to tan the green dragon hides I had from killing the dragons. Uh, I don't have access to the Lunar Spell to tan these, so, you know, I decided I'd have to run between Alcarid. I don't have access to this, obviously, because you need to do the Fremenic Card Diary. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't even looked at the requirements for it. I probably could have done them, but I figured it was just easier to do it like this. Uh, I ended up making around 3 mil from these, because they out for about 4.7k each. Next, I did a quick farm run. You know, I haven't really shown any of these in my videos yet, so I figured why not. Uh, this was a pretty big run consisting of magic, you, palm, and papaya seeds, and no, I did not get these from Zolar. These are all from um, either cutting the teaks, where I did get a bunch of magic seeds and stuff, and from uh, Kingdom over like a month, so yeah. Then I decided to finally start working towards killing Zora. The first step in this, guys, was to get my trident. Now, for those of you that know me, I skipped a lot of Kraken tasks in 99 Slayer. I only did about two of them. I ended up not getting a trident, so I figured I'd just do it after 99 Slayer because it is pretty bad XP because I didn't really need the trident at the time. Uh, I had around 900 Slayer points when I started skipping tasks, and I didn't get a task, so I decided to stop when I had 70 points left because it would be pretty bad if I couldn't skip tasks and I had to do, like, still dragons and stuff. But I did end up getting a task, and I got my kill on the 70th, so thankfully I got it on that task. It would have sucked if I had to keep doing Slayer. And uh, also during this time, I did get rank 1 Iron Man Slayer back, so that is pretty damn awesome. Next, I continued my journey towards Zolar by doing Pest Control so I could get my Void Mage Helm. Uh, it didn't take too long this time because I did the Veteran Boat and I actually had a pretty decent team. Then, after checking which quests I needed to do to get access to Zolra, I realized I needed to do around four quests. Two of them, which I probably should have done a really long time ago anyway. Uh, the four quests were Plague City, Biohazard, Underground Pass, and Regicide. Now, in my last video, I said Ty Boanite Trio was probably the worst quest I'd ever done, but holy shit, Underground Pass and Regicide, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Never again. Uh, actually, during Regicide, I ended up getting stuck in the floor uh, because the game disconnected in the middle of like this cutscene, so uh, yeah, pretty unlucky there. After finishing all of those quests, I ended up killing some crazy archaeologists to get a rune crossbow. Once again, I never needed one, so that's the reason I'm not getting it until now. Uh, also, this was the first time I had ever killed a wilderness boss. Uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. This is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game other than the Kraken boss, but I did end up getting my rune crossbow on the 30th kill, which wasn't too bad. Then I did a quick farm run and got myself 79 farming, which got me closer to 80 plus in every skill. Uh, after I decided to do some agility so I could start alking the green dehyde bodies I made a few days earlier, and I got myself to 81 agility. I then moved on to killing some kraken boss for the sole reason of getting watermelon seed drops uh, so I could protect my pineapple trees. Uh, I had around 65 or 70 pineapple seeds in the bank uh, from doing kingdom for probably about six months. So I decided to finally, you know, start doing this and start planting those. So it worked out pretty well getting the kraken task for my trident because I had 30 left and I ended up getting around 48 watermelon seeds. As you guys will see in the last clip, uh, there were actually some more drops, but the majority of them are what I have in my inventory. After I continued doing agility because I wanted to take a break and watch some movies, I uh, also did some fletching directly because I had some maples uh, from Kingdom. You know, every time I get enough maples to get a fletching level from Kingdom, I normally just go ahead and power that out. Uh, I also got 82 agility and 88 fletching and 1994 total, so I'm really close to 2k total now, guys. Only 6 away, and that's going to be one hell of a milestone. Seeing how close I was to 2k total, I decided to go get some quick levels. Uh, you know, I had some herbs banked, so I figured herbs would probably be the quickest way to get some levels. Uh, I made mainly weapon poison, anti-fire pots, and super defense pots. Uh, combined, these got me a total of 75 herb lore and 1996 total. So, I was also really close to getting a magic level, and as we all know, for Zolra, magic levels are pretty important. So, I decided to alk some of the maple long unstrungs I have in my bank, which was like 40 to 45k. Uh, I ended up getting myself 88 magic. 
Now comes the reason that this video is two to three days late, guys, Zolra. After working towards this by doing a bunch of quests and collecting a bunch of items and supplies, I finally started doing Zolra. Uh, I'm not going to lie, at first it really pissed me off and it made me want to punch a hole in my wall and ended up almost quitting the game. I died probably around 35 times before I managed to get my first kill. Uh, after all of these deaths attempting, you know, the ranged mage method, I decided that I would just try doing mage only. Uh, and in just three attempts, I actually ended up getting my kill. So I decided until I fully learned the rotations, it would be better just to do mage only instead of just dying over and over. So uh, yeah, it's going to be slower, but it's better than not doing Zora at all. Now, at the point I'm commentating over this video, I have a total of around 160 Zora kills, and it will be the main focus of my next episode as well, because I do want to get as many kills as possible before the possible nerf, because Jagex has been talking about, you know, setting up an alternate thing to check data on how much things are dropped. So, I'm pretty adamant that in the next few weeks to maybe a month, they're going to be nerfing Zora drops. So, if you guys haven't done Zora yet, make sure you start doing it as soon as you can. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Um, it may be around a week and a half until the next video because it will be primarily Zolra kills, and I kind of want to make the video over five minutes, but the next video will be pretty short because I am grinding out Zolra. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for sh future content. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, too, is for some reason I'm getting a lot of static noise when I'm checking these recordings in this video. So if you guys hear that static, I'm kind of sorry about that. I don't know how it'll end up when I uh, compile the video. But yeah, thanks you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.